Welcome, I'm Coach Andrew, and today this video, this is for all of you folks out there who fancy yourselves pretty strong squatters, whether it be with a barbell, a dumbbell, a kettlebell. I myself, I come from a powerlifting, a CrossFit background, I'm a collegiate athlete where our strength conditioning coaches made us do squatting four or five times a week, whether it was with a barbell or a dumbbell or any of those implements. So you may be asking yourself, well, I'm super strong at squatting, I'm, I'm good at this, I don't need the machine, the DB method machine to teach me how to squat or it can't benefit me in any way. And admittedly, I myself thought the same thing. However, I had to take a step back and really think about where this can come into play, where it can be most effective. And where it can be is getting yourself prepared for a squat. No matter how strong you are, no matter how much you squat, we all need to warm up to squats in a couple different ways. We need to warm up to make sure that we can achieve the depth that we need to achieve to be effective in the exercise. But we also need to prime our musculature to do the work. So if I just go right into squatting, your body's gonna almost be shocked. and like, well, I'm gonna do something to accommodate the movement and, and get the work done, but I need to make sure that my glutes, my hamstrings, yes, of course, your quads and your adductors, all of these components are working together in concert to squat the most we possibly can to get the stimulus we want and get the benefit we desire. So in order to do that, the DB method machine, this is the phenomenal tool because this is what's gonna do, this is what's gonna help you engage all that musculature. So one thing I want to talk about here is warming up and how it can be helpful. Let's say today in your program and you're a barbell squatter, you're going to go for five by five, five sets of five reps, and you're going to get to 90% or more of your one rep max squat, whether it be back squat or front squat, let's say. Well, going into your warm up, if I was your coach, I'd probably have you do some kind of banded glute exercise, but that's great for activating the musculature, but it's not working the mobility of getting into a squat. Answer, the, the machine, the DB method machine. Now we're getting down into the depth of a squat while activating that musculature. So let's take a look at this. When I step on the machine, get my heels on the foot ramps, I tuck my tailbone in and I squeeze the glutes. So I'm pressing glutes firmly against this pad, stacking shoulders over hips, rib cage down. These are all things that I'm going to do when I get under the barbell. So this is priming my body to think, okay, yes, I'm doing the same thing. We want to replicate the movement and create it as much as we possibly can before we actually get under load. This is going to best prepare you for the best possible result of your exercise. Now, when I go into my squat, I can practice that vertical posture and that glute tension while hitting my depth. So I'm working that range of motion, grab my breath, push out, I can even work on holding and actively squeezing glutes down into the seat, staying vertical. I can't do this with a band. I can't do this when I just put a band around my ankles or around my knees. Exhale up and recreate your next rep. What do we do under a barbell? We exhale, we rebrace, we go into our next rep. So again, I'm neurologically patterning and preparing myself for exactly what I'm going to endure when I get under that barbell, whether it be front squat, back squat, even overhead squat. Tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glutes against that pad, right? A lot of different cues you can think about here, a lot of feedback on this machine. Drive the knees out left to right to get the adductors turned on, shoulders pulled back. Exhale, we can even add a hold. I would oftentimes have athletes that I work with when they're preparing for squats, add a hold at the bottom. You can easily do that here while keeping that ideal vertical stack position. So we're training for that ideal without getting yourself under heavy load yet. So really good supplement to your barbell squats would be using this for not only warm ups, but also in between sets, drop sets. I want to squat. I want to stay in my squat pattern. I want to stay moving into that pattern, but I don't want to be under that load. So I'm best prepared for my top set or a heavier set. Really creative strength method would be warm up, put your first load on the barbell, perform your set, drop set of no weight, with maybe an isometric hold at the bottom of your squat. Really pattern that. Come back, do your next barbell set, drop set back here. And now we're ready for a top set where we haven't stopped squatting at any point, but I had two sets where I took the load off. So now I'm ready to put heavier load underneath me and probably achieve a better number than I typically would. So there, is, there you have it. You might be asking yourself again, you know, at the beginning of this video, where can I use this? Where does it fit in my program? That's where it fits. That's where it fits in mine. And that's where I've started to see a lot of success. And I've had my athletes utilize that. So don't be discouraged by the fact that you're a strong squatter. We can always get better. And again, we're never going to not squat. We're going to squat every day for the rest of our lives, whether you're in a car, sitting down at your desk or going to the restroom. So let's make sure that we always squat the best way possible. 
and we want to squat for longevity. This machine is going to help you do exactly that. Until next time, I'm Coach Andrew.